Jeb Bush is back, y'all. Jeb Bush is here, um, and this is, this is a little bit of a surprise that we got going on here. It appears like he endorsed Ron DeSantis for president. Let's watch. I think it's pretty remarkable. And he hasn't declared yet. Many in the Republican Party hope he soon will. Is this Ron DeSantis' opportunity to run for higher office? I think it is. He's been a really effective governor. He's young. I think we're on the verge of a generational change in our politics. I kind of hope so. I think it's time for a more forward-leaning, future-oriented uh, conversation in our politics as well. Which has made him, should he choose to run for president, a serious contender in Republican politics. And who better to do it than uh, someone who's been outside of Washington, who's governed effectively, who I think has shown that Florida could be a model for the future of our country. Uh, I have many thoughts. Number one, Fox News is now leaning in to deep-throating Ron DeSantis. That is very clear. That presidential music in the back, trying to make it like dramatic, and Ron's walking like, yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking like a president over here, bro. No big deal, bro. So it looks like Rupert Murdoch made the call from the top and was like, hey, let's lean into this. This is who we want to be the guy. Um, and here's my controversial take. DeSantis is going to drop in the polls <laughs> after this endorsement. <laughs> I'm partly kidding because I don't even know, like, I didn't even see any headlines about Jeb Bush endorsing Ron DeSantis and just this video here from Ron Filipkowski. Um, but this will make Trump go up. This will make uh, DeSantis go down. Why? Because, dude, you're not helping low energy, Jeb. Nobody likes you. And so, if anything, this is like a little bit of a reminder to the Republican base that, well, DeSantis is more of the establishment than Donald Trump is. Even though Donald Trump was president for four years, even though he did a, a plethora of horrible policy ideas, massive tax cuts to the rich, 200,000 jobs outsourced. I mean, we can go on and on. Deregulation, which helped lead to the train derailment and chemical fire in East Palestine, Ohio. I can go on, right? But... Low-energy Jeb endorsing Ron DeSantis is a strike against Ron DeSantis. So it, it looks to me like the Republican establishment is just totally inept and inadequate, and they don't know how to effectively get past Trump and Trumpism. Because this looks like wild flailing to me. By the way, look at the arguments he used. The arguments were non-existent. It was just like, uh, you know, he's younger. And I think it's time for, like, a new generation of, uh, of of politics. That's what I think. It's like, you didn't say anything. You just said he's younger. The, the age doesn't matter. The ideas, the policies matter. And all he's got is, he's younger. You know, he's sort of, like, governed effectively and stuff. How? Give me an example. What what can you point to to say he's governed effectively? I'll tell, I've been through Ron DeSantis' record with a fine-tooth comb. He told the people of Florida, don't vote for the direct ballot to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. He was against that. He's not in favor of legalizing weed. He said, because it smells bad, we should keep it illegal. He took $20 million from Wall Street, and he does their bidding. This is a guy who oversaw torture at Guantanamo Bay. How do you manage to be a war criminal before you even hold an executive position? Like, he has, he's had no, no say whatsoever in foreign policy, but you're already a war criminal? I mean, come on, man. Jesus Christ. That's insane. He, of course, did the fake voter fraud crackdown just for virtue signal points with the right-wing base. Oh, we're going after the people who illegally voted, bro. Come to find out, all those people legally voted. They were told by the state of Florida, you're legally allowed to vote now. What can you point to? He cracked down on wokeness in the classrooms, bro. Yeah, you sure showed those teachers. Now a gay teacher can't have a picture on their desk of them and their spouse. Real crusade for justice there. Book bannings, left and right. And this is where the right chimes in and goes, It's just you're getting rid of, like, the porn that was in the child libraries, bro. Not true at all. Judd Legum over, over at Popular Info has detailed all of the different book bannings, and a lot of them are totally asinine. I mean, you have stories of people who, you know, civil rights heroes and their personal stories, and they're banned now. 
what are we talking about here? But this is who the Republican establishment wants. Why? Because they're, at the end of the day, they want the status quo. They want calmness. They don't want Trump, like, he's off the walls. They don't want that. But they just want more tax cuts and more subsidies for corporations. That's what they want. And they know DeSantis will deliver on that. And so that's why they're leaning into him. But to get low energy Jeb, dust him off and drag him out, they took him out of the low energy conference. And this ain't going to help you. And Brian Kilmeade should know that, right? He seems like he should be connected enough to the base to know that this isn't a plus. All right, well, there you have it. By the way, Pence now is um, drawing a distinction between himself and Trump and DeSantis by talking about the war in Ukraine. Pence is positioning himself as like, I'm the toughest on Putin. I'm the most in favor of giving Ukraine weapons and money, and we must defeat him. And you have um, Trump is out there like, no, we need to negotiate. We got to end this thing. We're flirting with World War III. And DeSantis has sort of split the difference between them a little bit. Because when he was a congressman, he was in favor of arming Ukraine. Um, but now his commentary is like, look, we at least we shouldn't give them a blank check. We can give them some help, but a blank check seems a little overboard. He's sort of splitting the difference between them. But um, anyway, there you have it. Next, we'll see if Marco Rubio comes out to endorse Ron DeSantis. Uh, John Kasich. Um... I'm very curious to see, but this doesn't help the narrative for DeSantis because what he wants to do is portray himself as the heir apparent to Trump. Like, he's Trump 2.0. I'm the better version of Trump. But in order to do that, you need to have some plausible deniability about your connection to the Republican establishment. You need to view yourself as more of an outsider. You need to posture as more of an outsider. And to have this guy who literally nobody likes supporting you, sort of a strike against you. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.